the king. Ross Albert, the owner of the largest marketplace on the dark web, was arrested after sending messages from his personal email. His identity was later revealed in that account. Achieving anonymity isn't just about taking precautions. It's about who can stay in the game the longest. Imagine you are a ghost on the internet. No one can reach you. No one knows who you are and all your movements are hidden. But can you really reach that stage? What if I told you that most people who try to hide online are doing it wrong? Everyone talks about VPNs and talk. But is it enough to use one of them and assume you have become invisible? What about your home network, your device fingerprint, or the small mistakes that explain you without your knowledge. Today, I will decode the mystery of invisibility for you, step by step, in a way you have probably never seen before. Folks with me, because the details here can mean the difference between staying anonymous or be completely exposed. Okay, I have watched every video on YouTube. They all explain still, but only through single tools or single system, VB, top or proxy chip. Is it reasonable to use just one thing and expect to be hidden, or do you have to to use a series of measures. Certainly, each method protects you at a certain point. When you use a VPN, you are protected after you connect, assuming the VPN meets the necessary requirements. But what about before you connect? Are you protected then? We will answer many similar questions throughout this series. Don't forget to take notes because once I start, I will not stop. Now, let's proceed with Burfint League, but through tracking behavior on the internet. First thing, don't write in the same style you used before. You can use different pseudonyms for different purposes and clear cookies and history and reset your browser session after each use. Turn off autofill and browser extensions because they can easily leak your data. If you are using a disposable phone, don't store numbers or messages on it. As for avoiding tracking by websites, don't look into your personal account. That was obvious. It's better to use different browser for different activities because there are things called user agents that can expose you. Always check what data your browser is leaking. You can try tools like AmiUnity or Barubiti Click. Those tools will tell you what your browser is leaking. Communications and payments. Even if your browser is secure and you prevented leaks, communication and payments can still expose you. So we will look at the best systematic anonymous communication. You can use Proton Mail and Total, Totalota, and you can use PG for a chat or messaging. Let's say messages. You can use session or prior, which are anonymous decentralized message app. And for calls, you can use web phone with a voice provider or other random voice option. For anonymous payments, you can use Monero or use gift cards bought with cash if absolutely necessary. Of course, avoid PayPal and credit card or anything tied to your identity because they can easily reveal you. If you want advanced technique, let's say extreme measures like if you need military level secrecy, you might consider using separate devices and system. A device that never connects to the internet or creating multiple fake identities with different IPs and different writing style and behavior patterns. Or you could destroy your device after each major operation. But that's rather difficult. Route or traffic, as we said earlier, through VPNs, proxies and Tor in a chain setup. We will explain and demonstrate this and explain the differences between them but in a practical way let me explain the difference on the board so it's easier for you and you can understand it better now this is you all right you want to connect either through a vpn or through tor when you connect through a vpn you create something like this tunnel through this tunnel you connect to the vpn server this tunnel is supposed to be secure and encrypted and no one should be able to know what's happening inside so as you can see here this timeline everything from this point forward no one should see it but everything before that all your information is known what does that mean it means if we bring for example the isp the surface provider the people who give you the internet those guys will know that you connected to a vpn and they will know that you connected to tor or the tor browser okay so at this stage here as you can see in the green line you are exposed until the moment you connect but what you are going to do here for example this is our website or any website you choose you won't appear in the website's logs because you are connecting through a vpn meaning the website will only see the vpn server it has no idea who you are let 
literally it's like you never visited the site even if the website got breached and all of its data got leaked your ip will not be there only the vpn's ip will show up in this case but in the case of tor if you are connected tor is a network basically a bunch of people whose devices work together like a mesh network so here we have several people all of their devices forming part of the network but the connection is not like the vpn here the connection goes through three nodes the entry node the middle node and the exit node like we said before let's change the color the entry node will know your ip okay the exit node will know the website you are accessing but what stops them from knowing anything else is that this node does not coordinate with that node and that node doesn't coordinate with the other one they don't know each other maybe this node is in germany the middle one maybe in france and the last one let's say in oman so the node in oman the exit one will know which will site you accessed but it will not know your ip and the node in germany will know your ip but it will not know what you are requested in the first place so tor is good in that sense but its downside is obvious you see this tv hub it is slow and it depends on their internet and on your internet meanwhile the vbn company most likely has a strong server a strong internet connections and more features so the connection becomes very fast so it depends on what you want the nice thing about tor like we said is that no one knows what you did because the information is split but here with the vpn the vpn knows what you visited let's not forget that let's say for example you visited a specific website the vpn company knows it and at the same time the vpn company knows your ip so if the vpn company is weak or gets breached your ip will show up as someone who visited the website so what's better choose a vpn company that is located in a country with strong privacy laws meaning a country that does not ask companies to hand offer user information so if the vpn server is in switzerland you don't have to worry the government there won't ask the company give us user data just because the servers are on their land and that's simple explanation of vpn tor and differences between them now we saw the vpn and we saw tor but whoever saw part two of the serious knows we explained proxy chain too so how does proxy chains work proxy chains basically does the same thing it gives you that anonymity but through proxies so here you will have proxy one proxy two and proxy three so instead of your data going through tor nodes or people's devices here it passes through proxies the first proxy gives it to the second the second gives it to the third and the third is the one that accessed the website so the protection is a bit different but the idea is similar to Tor. But the question is, is there a difference between them or are they basically the same? In the next episode, we will take a series of the best settings for everything. We will cover how to set up the device and security and the best settings for devices and how to isolate network on how to connect to a secure network. We will also look at network level privacy and the best multi-layered privacy settings. We will see how to prevent leaks more and we will compare some differences between system if you like this episode and want us to continue this series tell me in the comments